Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. Because in this video, we are going to take a close look at the Ed Games Legend Core. I have reviewed quite some different versions when it comes to, let's say, plug and play, game solutions. But the Ed Games also has a very interesting product. So Ed Games have released in a very short time period a lot of different products. And the Ed Games Legend Core, what is this exactly? Basically, what I already mentioned, this is more like a retro game system that you can plug and play to your television. It doesn't include a controller. Uh, so far I know they released a new controller last month and they will be releasing many new products. And I think the Legend Core is more like a solution if you don't want to have a gigantic arcade machine or you don't want to have a plug and play stick. This can be maybe a fun solution to play some old school games, plug and play with a controller you have laying around, including 100 different games. So in my opinion, it's quite a lot. Maybe you don't think so, let me know in the comments. Inside the box itself, we're going to get the Legend Core game console. The manual itself is a very extended manual, so if you have any problems whatsoever, you can check it over here. Most of the questions will be answered. And if you, have, you still have a question, they also have a Facebook group. There you can drop your questions if you have any problems. So basically, the console itself is the same console that they are going to deliver with different products like the Legend Mini, Arcade Machine and the other ones. That's really funny and it's basically the same software that comes in the Arcade Machine. Only difference is this one comes with 100 games, the Arcade Machine comes with 350 games. Then we're having here at the left side a very long and very nice high quality HDMI cable. HDMI, I mean USB. Damn it, frame brain fart! I mean, the micro USB cable that was caused the freaking... I saw the freaking cable laying over there. <laughs> okay, but nevertheless, the micro USB cable. And the micro USB is a very long one, very convenient. But on the other hand, this thing is very short. Weird. It also includes a power adapter. Let's see, just a basic power adapter. Let's see, check the specifications. This thing is looking at 2 amps. Yeah, 2 amps. Yeah, nothing special, whatever. Nobody gives a shit, and there is nothing in the box itself. Let's grab ourselves a controller. I think I'm going to use the Xbox 360 controller. I love that controller. And uh, let's check it out and let's play some games. But first, the most important thing I wanted to share with you guys. <sighs> Pure satisfaction. So in the meantime, with all these reviews, I am familiar with the layout and the things we can do with the Ed Games hardware and software. For the people who don't know, just give you a quick overview. At the top, you can see we're having games, arcade net, BOG, and of course we're having settings. But with the arcade net, we can log into an account and there's a subscription needed if you want to play all the games, but they are offering more like an online service. Bring your old games old your own games it's we're having different ways like the coin op systems and there are some awesome things you can do including streaming from your pc and we're having of course the settings and with the settings there's what i like about the software of the ad games so where the pandora boxes have so many problems and limitations the ad game software did it right the first time and the reason i'm saying the first time we're having so many options out even portrait mode and some other great features that we can have with this system so what another thing is that when I'm always making reviews, stuff doesn't work like I want to. But here we're having some extra options. We're having wireless pairing for wireless controllers. Uh, we're having still some new updates coming up. So connect with your Wi-Fi, connect with arcade net, get your new updates. And there are so many things you can do with it. So maybe it doesn't have 350 games like the full arcade machine. But what I really like about the games, the 100 on them are quite good. There are a lot of familiar games like Bad Dude vs Dragon Ninjas, Aladdin from the 16-bit era. And when you're looking at any a little bit further you can see even breakers from neo geo burger time bubble bubble and a lot of familiar games where you can have a lot of hours of fun of playing and of course we're going to play some more games in this video but i just want to give you a quick overview of the games and i can say i'm pleased personally with the games i am seeing over here that's page number eight page number nine including tetris so i think it's just a great collection and only for a budget device like the legends gore Okay guys, so what I really like about the edit game software that includes in every system I've reviewed now is that we're having, when pressing the, in my case, the Xbox button, but normally it's more like the add game button, we're going to get the option for entering a coin for one, two or three, four players. And the thing is more like, uh, we have another option that is just so cool. With the advanced options, 
it will need to restart you can do a lot of things but what i want to check out especially is the sps ratio so basically what you can do is have putting it in the center fit full screen you can just basically put it in pixel perfect i think it's just great include some scan lines if you want to we have a horizontal vertical or you can just turn it off I think there are more of these, these tiny minor differences that we don't have with the Pandora box nowadays. And Endgame just made it possible. And I like it. Okay, but nevertheless, let's play some games and let's see how are they running. Hmm. Seems to be the one of my buttons is off. Oh! Oh! I messed it up. Completely messed it up. But okay. So I such a big fan of this game and so cool to see it on the Legend Core. Okay, let's go to the next one. But you can see now that it looks a little bit strange because it's more like having the image on a background personally i don't like it so let's change it back with this game we have the option to do a quick save so that's quite awesome so having five slots for the game then we're going back now we're going to switch between the load and the save at the bottom part so if you want to load it you need to press a different button okay before we go play any further let's put them on full screen ah, let's push it pixel perfect I'm messing it up because I can't find the button to get this thing to work. Ah, there it is. Oh! I always want to record something in the gameplay. It doesn't go like I want to. Roll away! Okay, so this is just a great example. If you want to rotate the screen, it's possible. Um, I think it's more like an option that is great to have if you're really into the shoot 'em ups or you just want to play shoot 'em ups. Because you always need to choose, and every time you need to want to switch between, let's say, display options, you need to reboot the system. I did notice there are some minor differences between the audio level. And I have this feeling that we're missing sound effects. But nevertheless, with the same option like the center fit and fill, look at this, this is awful. <laughs> Two, one. Oh crap, that's a great start, you know. But when you take a closer look at the Ed Games Legend Core, if you just want to have an Ed Games products and you want to mess around with it, yeah, and I know there are so many naughty ways to play with more games. But the one on the games, in my opinion, is not a bad deal. And don't forget, you can do so many great things with this. You can stream, you have arcade net, and not to forget, you can also use CoinOps X. So nevertheless, there are so many different ways you can play with this piece of hardware. And it's just a console only, so you need to grab yourself a controller. It can be different things like maybe an Xbox One, an Xbox 360. I don't know exactly the list of all the controls that are supported, but there are then many ways to play. I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit the bell, become one of the Wicked family. Let me know when it comes, what do you think of this? And I will see you in the next video.